As the Formula One season unfolds, the battle for supremacy intensifies. While Red Bull continues to reign supreme, Ferrari and Mercedes are embroiled in their own struggles and strategies to reclaim the top spot. Amidst the turbulence and uncertainty at Ferrari, CEO John Elkan is leading the charge to revitalize the team's fortunes. Reports from esteemed publications like Gazetta reveal Ferrari's bold moves, including a willingness to offer legendary designer Adrian Newey a blank check to join their ranks. But Ferrari's ambitions don't stop there. They're eyeing several key engineers from Red Bull, recognizing their pivotal roles in the team's success. Vasseur's optimism is palpable as he declares Ferrari's intention to close the gap on Red Bull. With an extreme version of the SF24 in the works and a comprehensive development roadmap, Ferrari is leaving no stone unturned in their pursuit of victory. Can Ferrari's aggressive recruitment strategy turn the tide in their favour? In stark contrast, Mercedes finds itself in familiar territory, grappling with performance issues that defy expectations. Despite initial projections by technical director James Allison positioning Mercedes as the second fastest team, the reality on the track tells a different story. George Russell's concerns are echoed by Lewis Hamilton, who laments the team's inability to keep pace with their rivals. In the aftermath of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Mercedes finds itself facing a harsh reality. George Russell, reflecting on the team's performance, bluntly states that Mercedes is getting slower rather than witnessing rival teams getting faster during race weekends. This sentiment echoes the frustrations felt throughout the Mercedes camp. As Lewis Hamilton said, it is certainly a better starting point than the last two years, but we are still not where we would like to be, which is to compete with Red Bull and Ferrari. The challenges for Mercedes were evident throughout the race weekend. The car struggled notably at the high-speed corners of Jeddah, exacerbating concerns within the team. During his final stint on soft tyres, Lewis Hamilton found himself consistently losing over five-tenths of a second to his competitors, notably Lando Norris. In a candid admission, Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff acknowledges the severity of the situation. We have a big problem, he concedes, but we continue to push hard, signifying the team's determination to overcome their obstacles. Toto Wolff said, Our sensors and our simulations say that in a certain speed range, we should have a certain amount of downforce. But in reality, we don't. Wolf's revelation hints at a recurring issue that has plagued Mercedes in the past, notably with the infamous W13. The discrepancy between expected and actual performance underscores the complexity of the challenges facing the team. As Ferrari and Mercedes navigate their respective hurdles, the looming question remains, can either team bridge the gap to Red Bull before it's too late? Now, it's your turn to weigh in. Share your insights on Ferrari and Mercedes strategies, as well as the challenges they face, in the comments below. Will Red Bull's dominance persist unchallenged, or could another team, perhaps McLaren, join the fray? Alternatively, could Red Bull's internal struggles be the Achilles heel that leads to its downfall?